the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Lord be with you. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last of life. Amen. Let us pray. Come quickly, we pray, Lord Jesus, and do not delay, that those who trust in your compassion may find the solace and relief in your kindness. For even when we have God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Samuel. When King David was settled in his palace, and the Lord had given him rest from his enemies on every side, he said to Nathan the prophet, Here I am, living in a house of cedar, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan answered the king, Go, do whatever you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that night, the Lord spoke to Nathan and said, Go, tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Should you build me a house to dwell in? It was I who took you from the pasture and from the care of the flock to be commander of my people Israel. I have been with you wherever you went, and I have destroyed all your enemies before you. And I will make you famous like the great ones of the earth. I will fix a place for my people Israel. I will plant them so that they may dwell in their place without further disturbance. Neither shall the wicked continue to afflict them as they did of old, since the time I first appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give you rest from all your enemies. The Lord also reveals to you that he will establish a house for you. And when your time comes and you rest with your ancestors, I will raise you up your, I will raise up your heir after you, sprung from your loins, and I will make his kingdom firm. I will be a father to him, and he shall be a son to me. Your house and your kingdom shall endure forever before me. Your throne shall stand firm forever. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm, forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, my kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. Forever will I confirm your posterity and establish your throne for all generations. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He shall say of me, you are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior. Forever I will maintain my kindness toward him, and my covenant with him stands firm. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. According to Luke. 
Zechariah, his father, filled with the Holy Spirit, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, for he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hand of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the down from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in the darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As Advent comes to a close, the readings reflect on joy that comes with God's promises. God answers David's desire to build the temple with a promise to grant him an everlasting dynasty. He answers Zechariah's prayers by granting him a son who will go before the Messiah. We too can rejoice in the fulfillment of God's promises to us. And now with hearts full of the joy and hope in God's steadfast love, let us present our petitions to Him, that the Church may continue to grow in holiness and rejoice without the ceasing in the incarnation of the Son of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the world leaders may have the protection of the Christ in seeking lasting peace among the nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. That all of us here awaiting in hope for the coming of Christ may abide in his truth forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Amen. Let's pray for special intention for special intention and of the Father Sprinter, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that all who have died in the light of faith may experience the fulfillment of all God's promises, let us pray to the Lord. Lord God our Father, your unbro unbroken fidelity to your promises, give us a confidence, confidence to make these prayers. We ask that uh, you answer them according to your holy will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, God, for creation, for the goodness we have seen the bread we offer with food of the earth and look our human hands, we will become proud of our lives. Blessed be For the goodness we have seen the wine we offer with food of the vine and book of human hands, we will become our spiritual dream.
partaking of them and we be cleansed of our sins and merit to stand ready with your heart for the coming in glory of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Our Lord, give it to you. Let up your heart. Let us give attention to the Lord our God. It is right. It is to be right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, for the Father, Almighty, Eternal God, and through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets that foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond the telling. John the Baptist is saying of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of the glory, as without them we are saved. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all of holiness. Make holy, therefore, as these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Lupo, so that they may become for us the body, blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his compassion, his bread, and given a thing, he wrote and gave it to his disciples. Say, take this, all of you, and eat up, for this is my body, which is given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and one who gave it a thanks to gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out to be and to many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this, remember of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim. Amen. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving the thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that for the eating of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered in one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread it throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with grounds of hope and place of bishop and all the clergy. Remember also, our brothers and sisters, that fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, those who have died in mercy. Welcome and thanks to the light of your faith. And mention us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, which St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed Apostle, with St. Jacob, and all the saints that preach you throughout the ages, you may merit to be coerced into the life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and take him O God, O mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor be yours, forever and ever. Amen. As the Savior's command and for by divine teaching, As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, gracious, we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin, and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the 
kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. The Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious with grant her peace and unity in accordance with your word. For it is Christ, for it is ever. Amen. The office of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold the Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those born to the sons of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the Lord of Christ be saved. The battle. The battle. The battle. The battle. The battle. The battle. The Bible says. 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 The Bible says.
Vigor our Lord in the deeds of your wondrous gifts, that as we prepare to celebrate in adoration the festivities of your son's nativity, so we may possess in gladness his everlasting reward. Bless and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. God the Lord be with you. Amen. 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 May Almighty God bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.